physical activity is high on the agenda and we'd like to think that all of our schools are providing 30 minutes of activity for our pupils. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like someone Over in Tokwith, they start the day by doing a wake up shake up. Wake up shake up is a way of dancing and it does what it says on the tin. It tries to wake you up and shake you by moving. And what I like about Tokwif is all the parents join in as well. And what year group are you girls in? We're in year six. So you lead the dance, you learn the dance and then you lead it to the whole school. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this for? We've been doing it for a few years yeah. now. So the school's been doing it for a few years. Yeah. Yeah. Does everybody seem to enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. The year six is lead and then so they create a dance and then they show it, they perform it to the whole school and then they just copy the dance. Children which are physically active concentrate a lot more in class than their friends. And you'll also see a real resilience and lots of some key life skills um, coming through with your pupils. Do you have any advice to any schools who do not do skipping at the minute? Uh, it's really fun and active and it keeps you warm and keeps you going. I think it's always good to have at least 15 minutes a day or every two days to do skipping and really challenge yourself. And it's like really fun to do and it's sometimes challenging but it's, it's quite easy for me so I find it really fun to do. I am looking for the best dancer today. The best dancer in the whole school will get how many dojos Mr Chamberlain? 25 dojos! Okay. Here in Lakeside, they also do wake up shake up. However, they do this in the afternoon. Some schools have an afternoon break. And as a way of making sure that pupils get their 30 minutes of physical activity in every day, Lakeside have turned their afternoon break into a wake up shake up in the form of dance. And what we'd like to see with physical activity is longevity. We would like physical activity to be embedded in our schools on a daily basis throughout the whole academic year. So whether it's raining outside, we can share ideas to do indoors. If you don't have hall space, there are ideas to be physically active in class. Here at Brayburn, a daily mile. They have some new playground markings laid down which direct the children around the perimeter of the playground. Also here at Brayburn, children have a break time activity which is dancing in the hall. This is really popular and it's quite contagious as you hear the music around school. Somebody sets up some Just Dance songs and children can come into the hall and get active on a break time through dancing to the big screen. This is also a really easy one to get into classrooms. Those of you who have smart boards, TV screens in your classroom, if you feel that your class needs it, by bobbing on a Just Dance song at some point in the day, it gets children up and out of their seats for five to 10 minutes and gives them the energy and revitalizes them ready to learn. Children who are physically active will concentrate a lot more in class. It also engages them when working independently or collaboratively with their friends and it reduces behavioural incidents. Now we don't just want to do it for these reasons, we want our children to be healthy and happy, well-rounded pupils. So by getting physically active, hopefully you'll start to see this in your schools. And as we travel around the academy, we'd like to see our children active for at least 30 minutes every day on a daily basis. If you'd like any more ideas, then please feel free to get in touch and we can point you in the direction of lots of good websites and also further ways to keep children physically active. <laughs>